In this lecture, we will talk about examples of arc sine, arc cosine, and arc tangent. Okay. Before we do that, let's review the formula we have learned before. You know, those are the identities. You know, this one started with arc si uh, sine, okay, sine, and then arc sine. So are the cases for cosine tangent. You know, previously we know here x are the angles. If x is from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2, and here x from 0 to pi, and the one thing is the value right here, and here uh, x from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2, then this is going to be true. Okay. <coughs> but you know, sometimes x may not be in this range, so what are you going to do in this case? That's the thing you want to study today. Okay. And you also know that for arc sine, arc cosine, arc tangent, they can be written in this way. Okay. okay. Make sure you remember arc cosine has output from zero to pi. Huh? A cosine the output can never be negative. Okay, and the the output uh, output for the uh, tang uh, tangent x, then uh, you know that's uh, is restricted to negative pi over 2 to the positive pi over 2. Okay. So is the case for arc sine. Uh, so arc sine, arc cosine, you can get negative values. Uh, arc sine, arc change, you can get negative values. Arc cosine, you can never get the negative values. You see that? Uh, Okay, so if x is in this range, we are good to use. Otherwise, we have to do something. And here, we know x, arc sine x, and here x has to be from negative 1 to positive 1. Oh, by the way, here, it is a round Round one uh, means those two points, negative pi over two and positive pi over two, are not included. Okay. And down here, arc cosine, and again, x needs to be from negative one to positive one. Uh, and tang, and here tang, arc tang, x can take any values can be greater than 1 or less than negative 1. Okay. Again, here you may write sine negative, uh, no, sine, and uh, here sine inverse uh, x equals x. Okay. And cosine, cosine inverse 
is x and then tang tangent inverse is x. Okay. And here we did some simple examples previously. Okay, now let's do something more. Uh, before we do something more, we want to refill three more formulas. Sine x plus pi is negative sine x. Okay. Cosine x plus pi uh, is negative cosine x. And tangent x plus pi is tangent x. The reason is that pi is the period as the period of yeah pi is the period of tangent x. Okay, that's why they are equal, no negative sign. But if you add pi inside sine cosine, that's only half period. So you have a negative. Uh, and the, if you want to see from the picture, that's fine. Uh, you see down here, if x is any angle in the first quadrant, you and then you add pi, it goes to the third quadrant. That's 180 degrees. Okay. And then if x is in the first quadrant, y is positive. You add pi, it goes to the third quadrant, y is negative, uh, y coordinate. You see pi over 6, sine pi over 6 is this one. If you add pi on pi over 6, it goes to a straight angle here. One half comes to be negative here below the x-axis. Uh, y coordinate would be negative. That's the reason. Okay. And so is the case, you know, if it's a x, if it were in the fourth quadrant, then it was negative, negative one half. You add pi, it goes to the first, uh, second quadrant, then y comes to be above the x axis. So we'll get positive. That's why the signs are different. Okay? Yeah, you may work on cosine x plus pi in the same way. Alright? Okay. Uh, those formulas we are going to use today. Alright. Uh, let's work on examples. Mm. We will do our first example. That will be arc sine and then sine mm, 13 pi over 12. Okay. For this example, you cannot put you may think, huh, that would be 13 pi or 12 and this is wrong. Ah. The reason is that arc sine, the output for arc sine, you know the range is between negative pi over 2 to the positive pi over 2. And apparently this one is greater than pi. Okay, the reason is this one was out of uh, the from negative pi over 2 to the positive pi over 2. So what you like to do is this. You want to have an arc sine. Inside you want to write sine pi plus 
pi over 12. Because you know 13 pi over 12 is negative pi over 12 plus pi. Because here is 12 over 12. Okay? Now, you have a pi plus pi over 12. And by the formula I just reviewed, x plus pi, you want to have a negative. So what you have will be arc sine negative sine mm, pi over 12. Yeah. Now, if you uh, remember, arc sine, if there here is negative, then negative can get out. Uh, this is what we did before. Uh, we had it before. And now you can use the identity because pi over 12 is in Next from negative pi over 2 to the positive pi over 2. See? Arc sine, sine. This x has to be inside. Okay? So in this case, what you get will be negative pi over 12. That's the final answer. Okay. You may try. Hmm. Yeah, you may try the different uh, examples in some exercise, uh, some questions in your exercise. Now, let me do another one for you. Another one is arc. Cosine and then cosine eight pi over seven. And here again you cannot say hmm that's eight pi over seven. And that's wrong wrong again. The reason is output of a cosine has to be from zero to pi. Okay, and then here is out of the range because this one is greater than pi. Uh, actually, this one you may just write greater than pi over two. Okay, yeah, so I'll probably to move down a little bit. All right. Now, how to do that? Again you want to do is you want to split 8 pi over 7 to plus pi plus pi over 7. Again the reason down here is 7 over 7 is 1. 7 plus 1 is 8. So numerator is 8, denominator is 7. Ah. All right. Now using the formula we reviewed, this will be negative cosine pi over seven. If you remember how we did uh, deal with the negative sign with our cosine, we say we use we find that our cosine positive. Uh, here is positive. You don't need to write. Uh, and then what we need to use pi to subtract that, if you remember that. Okay. So what do we get? It will be pi minus this one, pi over 7, is between 0 and pi. So this one comes out directly. That's seven, pi over 7. And then you have pi minus uh, 
pi over 7 and here will be 7 over 7 minus 1 so what you get will be 6 pi over 7 okay so we did uh, for arc sine and cosine 